Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be hunting through another half pound of world coins looking for rare ones, whether that may be a challenging to find design, silver coin, gold you never know, um, or errors, you know, again, like a challenging to find country, all those different things, I'll be pointing them out and also doing research after the video to get you all the perspective that you'd want to know. But we'll have a brief message for from our sponsor, and then we'll get right into the coins. Before we get into this grab bag, I want to thank MA Shops for sponsoring this video. Their online marketplace, mashops.com, has a great selection of ancient US and world coins, paper money, stamps, and more. They've got a really good reputation, easy to use site, and they work with trusted dealers, so it would be a mistake to not head on over there and be aware of this awesome source for coins. Um, hopefully you can find something for your collection there. And with that being said, thanks to them again for sponsoring it, and let's get into the grab bag. And we'll jump into this grab bag, this first coin I've never seen before, and it's one Quetzal, so I assume it's from Guatemala, but I'm not going to be sure, and it is. Wasn't sure if that was a common unit of currency down there, um, but we've got a really classic design featuring what looks like an 1821 constitution. Um, I've seen that sort of emblem on a lot of different coins in the past, and you know we already got something that I would consider, I mean, maybe it's not hard to find, but it's off the beaten path, it's something different. And so I'll put it to the side. Um, this one, very nearby, Honduras, 1967, uh, also has their own crest. And this is going to be 20 centavos de lempira. So I'll, I'll provide an update as to what the lempira refers to, if that's a person, like an early ruler or something like that. Um, that's often the case, especially with some of the Central American countries. Um, then we have sort of a portcullis 1958 three pence coin, um, 180th of a... Uh, pre-decimal British pound, they would have it out of 240 pence. Um, and then after that, we'll get a 200 pesos from 2008 out of Colombia. So a fair amount of South and Central American coinage so far today. Um, that's going to switch up, though. I see this coin. Certainly not. I believe it's going to be UAE. Um, and that's exactly one Durham, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then on the front, that looks like, what, a 201, and is that a 4, I want to say? Um, 2014, not completely sure, and I'm curious about the significance of that lamp, so it'll be an easy way for me to come back and tie all of it together. Um, I'll update you there, though I don't think it's too valuable, um, nor is this one, 1967, 50 lire, um, and we've got the man striking the anvil, um, probably a, a symbol of hard work. Here we have another Italian coin, um, 10 uh, lire. And that's a coin that really had some problems with inflation, whereas some of its European counterparts did not. Uh, England was pretty good about that. 1896, here we see um, one of these. I think that there were 48 of these to a pound of bronze. Um, and we see Queen Victoria on the front. Um, and then on the, let's see, the next coin, we're going to see 50 filler, 1991 from Hungary. And Magyar is a great confirmation with a bridge, looks like the Brooklyn Bridge, but I'm pretty sure it is not um, probably going to be something over in that, maybe in, in Budapest or somewhere nearby. Um, or maybe they're copying, you know, just really like the Brooklyn Bridge. Here's a 1993 uh, Philippines 5 peso, or 2005, excuse me. Uh, I sometimes confuse that. The 1993 here refers to the date that um, the Central Bank of the Philippines was created. Um, so that's why if there's multiple dates on a Filipino coin, that's what you're looking at. Um, then we have a Netherlands 1970 one cent with Queen uh, Juliana, um, one of many different queens that's reigned, though actually there, there's not too many. It's been a long 10 years for the Dutch queens. Here's a halfpenny 1939 Sir Francis Drake's a golden hind that sailed around the world in the late 1500s. Um, and then we have another sort of British Empire, 1943 Australia penny. Um, George Kruger Gray um, was, has his initials there, also did some of the Canadian coinage, but uh, has certainly made his presence felt. Um, King George VI went from 1936 to 1952, um, and then uh, after that, it was Queen Elizabeth, 1965 here, but she's had a variety of portraits and is still going strong today. Um, after that, we see Macau, so that's uh, classic Portuguese five um, towers at that crest, uh, and you can see its involvement. And right now, there's a fair amount of, I believe, sort of casino activity on Macau, uh, sort of an island near China, and you can see some of those characters. But on this side, it says Republica Portuguesa, 
10 avos and i don't know if um like 100 avos i think 100 avos would make one pataka but i'll have to clarify their currency system um, in a comment um, then we have this coin large danish one um, and it's going to be frederick the ninth let's look at the date 1963 is actually older than i had expected i don't think that this is silver it looks sort of copper nickel um, but it's a large coin and i wonder if there's any numismatic value this one's not in particularly good condition um, but still a fun fun pickup here midway through our hunt let's see what else we have a tiny mexican coin 10 centavos from 1979 had multiple demonetizations including around 1992 so this is really not worth anything outside of the weight which i think world coins are trending like seven bucks a pound these are obviously a lot more expensive i have to pay up from the sources that i buy them from because um, there's better coins so here at the uh, bank of indonesia 1000 rupees 2010 um Ang Klung, and I'll, I'll look up what Anklung is because it, it it looks like a, a really cool building um, and then something in the front right there. So always like diving in a little bit deeper and understanding some world cultures. Um, this is like a one new dollar coin or one Zhao from Taiwan. Uh, or maybe it's one new dollar, but I think it's like one hundredth of a new dollar. I'll, I'll tell you. Um, it's been a little while since I've done the world coin hunts. Sometimes I film them in batches when I go back to college, then edit all them. Um, you know, edit four or five episodes at once. Here's 1981 10 pesos from Chile. Um, so Liberty, really nice. Reminds me of some of the uh, U.S. commemorative designs for the Olympics. Um, and then it looks like, ooh, we uncovered some silver in back there. Um, this one's from Berlin, 1906, one Fennig from Germany. Um, but then this one is Australian, three pence, 92.5% silver. It says Advanced Australia. And we've got King George V. Um, he would rule until 1932. And then you have, um, then you have, or 1936, I think. And then you have uh, King George the sixth come in 36 to 52 so i was giving a little chronology earlier this one looks brazilian 200 race um mcmi cool to see the decimal 1901 there um so that's what that is um not particularly valuable um and it's not silver either uh, they would have a little higher denominations before they get to the silver coinage 1955 belgian one franc very common coin um, not too much of a standout nor is this uh, 50 drachma corroded 1964 with i think paul king paul from greece um, after that though see some interesting this one used to come up a lot more often in our world coin hunts uh, 1964 sierra leone half cent for anybody who's been around since the beginning used to find these and sierra leone one cent coins all the time um, and i figure that they were super common worldwide but i think that that trend has slowed down and it was just the first few batches and from that source um, this one's 1938 venezuela um, five centimos, you know, massive runaway inflation, really sad situation. What's happened there? Um, and then this is a great example of a U.S. coin that was made to be used in the Pacific. 1944D, you know, it's clear as day. It's a Denver mint mark, but this is 75% silver, was sent over to the Philippines. Still has some nice toning on it, though. Um, it's probably like XFAU, probably AU, um, you know, not, not um, you know, not pristine, but a really nice piece of history, and I love that sort of golden brown toning that's beginning to form on it. Uh, if it was uncirculated, I think, you know, I would really hold on to it. Uh, but this still has some decent value with the Mount Mayon volcano exploding in the background. Really fun. Um, we see a few sort of common world coins. Mexico, 1957 from Mexico City. Um, Santa, uh, and then 1963, 10 centimes pre-euro coinage from France. Um, and then this one looks like, is it Jamaican William, George William Gordon, uh, $10. So out of many, one people, really interesting crest there, um, with like, looks like some villagers or, so, you know, uh, somebody with a bow and arrow, somebody holding some fruit. Um, and then after that, we have another Chilean coin here, one peso, 1990 with, uh, El Higgins Libertador or B.O. Higgins. Um, and the S.O. stands for Santiago. Um, similar to how there's the M.O. mint mark for Mexico City, um, another 20 centimes this time, French coin. Another older coin here, really cool, 1876, has certainly seen a lot of wear, looks super authentic, and it's going to be a German coin, uh, E. mint mark. I'm not totally sure where the E. mint mark is. Um, it's not one of the ones I think is as common, maybe it's a slightly older mint, um, but they don't go by, you know, it's not like it'll be a... Um, 
uh, a city in like Essen in Germany that starts with an E necessarily. Um, they just go A, B, C, D, E, F all the way up. 1966, Australia, Penny, probably one of the first um, post, you know, the decimal system coins. Um, they, I think, switched over a little bit before Great Britain did. Um, and I think that at that point they had separated their currencies. And then this one A rear, uh, 1946, uh, it's like one ORR, I think, is the plural. A rear is, must be the singular. Haven't seen one of these, so it's really fun to have one of these sort of all later in the hunt, um, be able to see a different type of coin that I haven't before. Um, and I think the ORR stems from gold. So kind of fun to think about the etymological roots um, as we go through these coins. Then we have a Singapore 1986 20 cents. Um, so uh, I think that this is a decent like exchange rate. And we see a few different uh, alphabets as well. So really, really neat to see. You know, every every country gets a great chance to do something different with their coins. Finish 1953 one marca showcase a different part of their um, country civilization. Spain 1997 25 pesetas. Here, I don't know what May Maya is, but 500th anniversary, um, you know, that's uh, quite interesting, obviously. Um, and then we have as well the 50 Lepta um, from Greece, so also very minimal purchasing power. Five Forent from Hungary, um, and then two of these one cent coins from the Bahamas that also don't trade at too much of a value premium. Really worn Peruvian coin there, 25 centavos. Then, wow, that looks neat. Don't see one of these every day. And 1903 farthing. So uh, we got Edward the Seventh right there. So he must have come after Victoria. I don't have the chronology down pat on some of the older, um, you know, older ru rulers in terms of when they were taking over and monarchs in Britain. Um, and very similar UAE coin. Hopefully I don't say it's a Durham, Durham when it's not for the second time in a row. Um, and then we have a Filipino coin here. Oops, dropped it. Um, doesn't look like it's going to be too valuable, so not much damage. 1962, one centavo. And it, it's cool to see how very similar theme, um, even though at this point this is the Philippines government after they get independence in the late 40s um, from the United States. You know, similar crest as well, but it's uh, distinctly their own. So uh, cool, cool to just trace things across history as well. Hong Kong, 10 cents, 1950, and then Queen Elizabeth II, 10 cents from the East Caribbean states. So it's been a while. I'll have to update you on what members are using this currency, but they're sort of uh, Atlantic islands is my recollection. 25 cents from Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, that's a larger uh, country, you know, the, the over a million people, um, quite close to South America, but this has been catching my eye for a while. Looks scrubbed, but that doesn't matter. 1931 Republika Czechoslovakia, Slovenska, but I think it's just Czechoslovakia, kind of crazy rainbow toning. Unfortunately, it's, it's not like the type that would have a, a ton of value commanded by it, but um, really neat design. And I think these are 70% silver, but there's definitely some value here that I'm excited about uncovering. Um, I think that this is the highlight coin of today, though if there's something that you like better, please let me know. Um, I'll have to put it this one prominently in the thumbnail. That'll be great. Um, and it'll be a cool one to go into my collection. Um, so that one is fun. Then we have a 10 colones uh, for Costa Rica. 2012. I didn't know Costa Rica is landlocked, so they border Panama, um, sort of in mainland Central America. And I should have known that, but I didn't. I found out the other day while playing Worldle, which is like a knockoff of the Wordle game, except it's for countries. Anyways, um, I'm not sponsored by them, just thought that, that was fun. And then 1900, 10 Fennig, um, again from Berlin with that A mint mark from Germany. Um, then we get a 1936, 10 Reichsfennig from, um, that would have been the Third Reich, Germany, and G, I, I also am not aware of what mint that is again, maybe Stuttgart, Karlsruhe, something like that, Estados Unidos, um, 1951 cen centavo from MO, you can tell it's definitely Mexican, I've never seen this design, I wonder if it's rare, I really like it actually, um, it's just such a small, like, value, because the exchange rate is pretty weak, but it's really pretty coin, and I like it a lot. Uh, lastly, we got two more coins here to unveil. This one is going to be Portuguese again with those five escutcheons, five dots. Um, I've heard it relates to five um, sort of nails in, in Jesus' cross, uh, ten centavos. So 
as well as five, I think, maybe different ships, something like that. And then lastly, five centavos here. 1886, did not expect that coming out of Colombia. So it looks like this is almost U.S. made because you have the Libertad cap um, or sash. Uh, and, and that's a really neat coin. I, I'm going to do a little research to tell you what the value approximately on it is because I know I think I had like an 1882 Colombian coin. Um, it was larger, it was silver, and that was actually pretty valuable. So this has been a great hunt. You know, I'm excited as always to do research after the fact and figure some of this out a little bit better for you. But so thankful that you watched along. Thanks to MA Shops again for sponsoring, and I'll see you back like normal. Uh, two weeks from now, we're going to have another one of these hunts, and I can't wait to dive into that. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. I've also got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can follow me there. Um, TreasureTownYT.com is the main channel website. Definitely give that a visit. I've got a lot of information about me up there and the channel. Uh, CoinGrabBag.com as well currently redirects there, but it's some good opportunities for very fair grab bags, both made by me and other sellers. A lot of different options, so that's a good way to support. Um, there's also TreasureTownCoins.com. In the future, my coin dealing uh, operation will be done out of that website. Uh, CoinMeltPrice.com for updates on the melt prices of your coins, both U.S. and world. A lot of resources in that website. And then CoinsMetalsCards.com being developed right now as a marketplace and news source for coins, metals, cards, and collectibles in general. So I'll see you on my future videos. Looking forward to seeing you there and hope you have a good day.